So, the first bullet says that diversity is the state of having a wide variety of people from different backgrounds working together in harmony. It explains that diversity is a term that we often hear, but what does it truly mean? At its core, diversity refers to the presence and acceptance of multiple different identities within a group or society, be it in terms of race, ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation, socioeconomic status, age, abilities, or beliefs. However, the definition of diversity doesn't stop there. Embracing diversity means acknowledging, respecting, and appreciating these differences. Fostering an environment where every individual has an equal opportunity to thrive about more than just ticking boxes. It's about creating a rich tapestry of experiences and perspectives that can enhance our world. The second bullet says we embrace, value, and support our collective diversity and global experiences, working collaboratively together as one global team. explains that diversity is a collection of minds and bodies from all the walks of life representing the breadth of human experience. It means acknowledging our differences and not hiding from them. It represents an opportunity to use those differences to collectively better our understanding of the world, lived experiences, and how those facets of an individual come together to form a unique human with a place in the world and something to offer. Equality. Creating an inclusive culture involves everyone, but the vital ingredient is the senior management provide leadership, showing and demonstrating why is it good for the organization and its business. Their management style is the language they use should reflect this commitment. Indirect discrimination happens when there is a policy that applies in the same way for everybody but the disadvantage of a group of people who share the protected characteristic, and you are disadvantaged as a part of this group. Unfortunately, there's this thing called unconscious bias, but how can we avoid it? Transparency provides safe place where mental and physical health are comfortably being discussed. Engage. Learn how to identify harmful behavior, such as negative attitudes towards a group of a person based on their age, disability, including mental health, gender reassignment, marriage or civil partnership, pregnancy and maternity, race, religion or beliefs, sex, sexual orientation, and respect each other's differences. In addition to this, behavioral messages, all internal and external communication should reflect your commitment to equality and diversity. Certainly, diversity in the workplace encompasses the range of differences among employees such as ethnicity, gender, age, background abilities, and more. It acknowledges and values these distinctions promoting a variety of perspectives and experiences. Equality, on the other hand, is about ensuring fairness and impartiality. It strives to provide all individuals with equal opportunities, rights, and treatment. Irrespective of their diverse characteristics, equality aims to eliminate discrimination and create a level play need for everyone in the workplace. In essence, diversity recognizes and celebrates differences, while equality ensures that these differences do not result in unequal treatment. A workplace that successfully combines diversity and equality fosters an inclusive environment where everyone can thrive. An example of diversity in the workplace could be a team consisting of individuals with various cultural backgrounds, genders, and age groups. This diversity brings a range of perspectives and ideas to the table, enhancing creativity and problem solving. For equality, an example would be a company implementing policies that ensure all employees receive the same opportunities for professional development, 
promotions, and fair compensation regardless of their background or characteristics. This ensures a level playing field for career advancement. The Connection of Diversity and Equality in the Workplace Diversity and equality in the workplace can refer to a variety of things. They are about treating every employee equally and fairly, with respect for their age, gender, race, cultural backgrounds, abilities, convictions, sexual orientation, work history, and the other factors. Understanding the two terms and how they work together is a good place to start for any employer looking to enhance diversity. Equality in workplace is to make sure that everyone has equal opportunity and treated the same regardless of the characteristics. Diversity workplace, it is more than equality, it's about creating culture that values individual differences for the benefit of individuals, business, and society for a workplace to be diverse. What is the importance of diversity in workplace? Diversity in the workplace refers to the inclusion and acceptance of workers from various backgrounds. A varied workplace is a valuable asset because it recognizes the unique abilities and potential of every worker. In the end, valuing one another's diversity is what binds us all and can hold the key to a prosperous, successful business and an ethical working culture. diversity, encourage innovation, and ensure fair treatment for all employees, regardless of gender, race, or background. This can lead to increased employee morale, engagement, and overall organization success. Employees have equal opportunities, rights, and treatments. This promotes a fair and just environment where individuals are judged based on their skill and contribution rather than the factors like gender, race, or background. When employees perceive equality, it enhances their moral and job satisfaction. This positive work environment can lead to increased productivity and collaboration as individuals feel included and valued. The benefits of improving the two in the workplace. The first one is innovation and creativity. Innovation and creativity in the workplace is for everyone regardless of their position. Focusing on the big picture, employees become emotionally invested in their work and less fearful of failure. The second one is enhanced problem solving. Enhanced problem solving provides employees with the ability to recognize and analyze problems, identify and evaluate a range of potential solutions, and then decide on and implement the most effective solution. The third one is increase employee engagement, letting all employees have a voice in the organization and the permission to speak up without fear of retaliation creates an environment where employees are comfortable sharing ideas with each other, which help teams brainstorm and identify creative solutions. The fourth one is better decision making. Better decision making helps streamline processes in the work. It enables the employees to identify problems, evaluate options, and choose the best action to resolve issues efficiently. As a result, they can save time, reduce costs, and improve productivity, which can benefit their team and their organization. The fifth one is broader talent pool. One of the best ways to build a competitive workplace is by hiring from a diverse talent pool. Employees from different social, ethnic, and cultural backgrounds have varying perspectives to offer, each with their own take on how to solve problems and tackle challenges. It improves organizational reputation. Organizations known for their commitment to diversity and equality often enjoy a positive reputation in the marketplace. This positive image can attract customers, clients, and business partners who value socially responsible practices. Global competitiveness. Diverse teams bring together individuals with different backgrounds, experiences, and perspectives. 
this diversity of thought often leads to increased creativity and innovation as diverse teams are more likely to generate a wide range of ideas and solutions. Compliance with regulations. Many jurisdictions have regulations and policies promoting diversity and equality in the workplace. By adhering to these regulations, organizations not only avoid legal issues, but also demonstrate their commitment to ethical and socially responsible practices. Reduce turnover. Inclusive workplaces are less likely to experience high turnover rates. When employees feel included and valued, they are more likely to stay with the organization, reducing recruitment and training costs. Lastly is enhanced employee and performance. Studies show that diverse teams and inclusive environments positively impact individual performance. Employees who feel supported and valued are more likely to be productive and contribute effectively to their team.